Hello everyone, welcome back to Katia B5 Training. This is Hams. Today I will show you how to create a product assembled. So let's start creating a new product. We need to go to File, New, Product, and let's call this product Landing Gear Training. Press OK. I will show you how to use the smart move, snap position, create some constraints. So let me start bringing, bring all my components here. So right click on the main product, go to components, existing component, and let me bring all these. I will show you very fast how to use constraints and, and everything. Okay, I have all my products here. Let me move them. Let's right click here, snap automatically to select object. So here, my landing gear support is gonna be my center of my assembly. So let me move the tire. As you can see, I'm using the compass axis to move it. Mm. So a few more components. Oops, sorry. And Okay, let's start with the, this is a toolbar to create constraints. You can see here we have angle, coincident constraints, contact constraints, offset constraint, angle constraint, fixed component, fixed together, quick constraint, and flexi rigid tube assembles is to change the assemble product. So let me put it here and we're going to use to the the move toolbar we have here manipulation a snap and a smart move explode and stop manipul on clash so let me start showing you the fix constraints because the landing gear support is gonna be our main or center component so we don't want we don't want it to move it so let's use the anchor so click on fix component and click you can click on the component here or on the main train the main train so let's click it and you can see now it appears with um with an anchor it means this component is not going to move so i will show you how to how to assemble this of this landing gear so let me start with a coincident constraint it means we're going to create a coincident from the wheel to the support so I want to be for example it's gonna be assembled here so I want to be this the center, the center, the radius center of this cylinder I want to be aligned with the center of this so as you can see here the the dash line it means it's calling for the center line of this cylinder too so let's click it here and now it makes a coincident constraints as you can see here with these two small circles but I don't want it like that, so I'm gonna move it a little. Just click, and now it is aligned. The two the two center lines are aligned. 
and you can see more or less here but I'm going to create um, a contact constraint it means as you can see here we have this the, the screw holes but we have the screw holes on this side too but with a counter scene so I want the counter scene on the other side so I'm gonna make a contact constraint of this face with this face and now our, our wheel is aligned and everything is okay as you can see here so now let me show you very fast let me move I will show you how to use the smart move smart move command so I like to use it select first product then select a smart move and you have this pop up and you can rotate it here and everything on this window the thing we are going to do is is the same create a constraint between for example this center and this center you only need to click here and then here but I want to align this one with this with this diameter so let's click now we have aligned you can click on automatically constraint creation it means it's going to create a constraint between this element and this one too between the tire too and the aligned tire wheel so I want to create the constraint so let's press ok and now we have more constraints here on the product tree you can see it appears with the constraints constraint tree and it contains the or anchor for this one is telling you you add a fix to the landing gear support you are a coincidence to a landing tire wheel and landing gear support you add a surface contact between landing tire wheel and landing gear support then you add a coincident constraint between the tire 2 and landing tire wheel if you want to delete a constraint just click it here and you can right click delete or just press the, the um, delete K on your keyboard or SUPR okay uh, now I want to add the screw wheel here so the thing I'm gonna do is again with the smart move click on the smart move we have the screw now always you need to look for the best place to create constraints I mean I can create a constraint from the center from the center line of the screw on this face on the screw on the radius of this or, or this radius so I'm gonna select this one and I want to be here so I'm gonna click and now you can see it's on the ground position so just click the green arrow is just to change the direction so now it looks better and press ok now we have a constraints between the screw and the landing tire wheel okay now I'm gonna add a constraint this one here oh it's almost it's almost time well uh, I will continue in the next video uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it